Diamonds are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Pete Kelly from Radio Diamonds and welcome to highlights of AFC Russian Diamonds against Burton Park Wanderers only on AFC RDTV. This was Diamonds' second home league match of the campaign after various cup competitions over the last couple of weeks. And Diamonds were on the offensive right from the outset. Chris Hope there with a right foot shot from outside the area, going just wide. And then good work down the right hand side with Elwood crossing, but Ben Morgan still in the team for the injured Alfie Taylor, couldn't quite convert the cross. But Burton had attacks of their own good work by Jed Whiteman, crossing the ball in for Lee Chapman to hit the bar there for Burton. And then just a few moments later, again it was Whiteman, this time hitting the post. Lim Fox in the Burton goal pulled off a string of saves all afternoon. That was the first one from Elwood. And then again, with a great save off to his left-hand side to Deny Morgan. Diamond's goal did come after a little bit of scrappy play on the left-hand side of the field, but the ball found its way to Ben Morgan, who continued the move, and then back for Jack Wisniewski to side-foot the ball confidently into the back of the net. AFC Russian Diamond's one, Burton Park Wanderers nil. That goal was almost on the stroke of half-time by Wisniewski. That meant that Diamonds went in at the break, one goal to the good. Diamonds were on the attack right from the start of the second half. Devon Elwood took that shot from distance. And that flew just wide. And then a few moments, right back Jake Gillingwater, who has really made the right back spot his own in the last couple of games, hit a fierce shot that was saved by Fox. And then just a few moments later, a free kick by Andy Dobbs, who was headed into the back of the net by Kevin Fox for Burton. FC Russian Diamonds won, Burton Park Wanderers won. And then a hash between the goalkeeper and defence led to Burton having several opportunities to try to capitalise but just Diamond survived Chris Hope thought that he'd given the Diamonds a lead as did several people in the ground but it wasn't to be as the linesman on the far side had signalled offside Newman caused problems when he came on that cross from the left hand side brought yet another good save from Fox after Ben Morgan shot and then Burton themselves had the ball in the back of the net for the second time but this too was ruled out for a push on Sharonmu. And once again, Fox kept Diamonds at bay, that time from Newman. And this move between Morgan and Wisniewski got exactly the same result. Ben Morgan couldn't quite convert that one. I think Wisniewski's reaction in the foreground spoke for all of us. And just a few moments later, the referee blew the full-time whistle. Perhaps a frustrating afternoon 
for Diamonds, AFC Russian Diamonds 1, Burton Park Wanderers 1. I'm Pete Kelly for AFC RDTV. This is AFC RDTV, Bruce Greenberg along with the manager, Mark Starmer. And Starms, it finishes a 1-1 draw against uh, Burton Park Wanderers today. Tough game for Diamonds today. Yeah, it was. Um, wasn't the best and and now we got a point. It's not what we wanted, but it's all we deserved. Um, we haven't done anything. We haven't set a standard that, I don't know, it's, um, we've set standards and we want to raise them standards all the time and we haven't done that today. You know, we haven't even got any close to, to uh, standards we've set and that was disappointing and, you know, if we, if we turn up and play like that Tuesday night, then God help us. Well, Burton Park comes in uh, today's game next to last place in the UCL Division One. Do you think maybe our side was uh, taking it for granted? They just could walk out on the pitch and get an easy victory, maybe? No. Uh, no, I don't. I just don't think they've um, executed the chances they made today. You know, that again, at the end there, we've got opportunities, but we're not making the right decisions. And I asked, asked them today to, to, you know, make a statement make them right decisions and start raising the level that we've been producing and, and that is in the second half of games we've created chances, we've done well um, but we haven't taken them chances and that's the difference between you know being a mediocre side and, and an half decent side and again today we've done exactly the same we haven't finished off chances we've made near the end but you know, over the 90 minutes we haven't deserved to get anything so you know I can't grumble at only getting a point because we haven't deserved it and you know, the lad's been told that, so. Uh, Sharon Mu, though, uh, did make some valuable saves for you, obviously, uh, throughout the game, especially late in the first half, early second half as well. Yeah, and so did that keeper. Um, but, you know, that's what he's there for. He didn't have a lot to do, but, you know, poor, poor goal to give away from the set piece. Um, but, hey, we move on. Devin Elwood got uh, man of the match. Uh, so what did you think of his play today? Deserved? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> no. Yeah, no, that's fine. If if, if people have saw something in Dev, that's fine. Um, he's tried hard. Can't take that away from him. But you know, collectively, collectively, as as the eleven players today, sixteen players, we've we ain't been good enough mm. by by a long way. And you know that that frustrates me. Um, but hey, you know we move on. Fair play to them. They've come. They've got a decent goal. They've worked hard. You know they're number nine at the end. That's held come. 20 yards inside his own half, held the ball up, turned, kept possession of the ball when they needed to. You know, they, they've counted on him, and I didn't have players like that today. So that's just throughout. I didn't have a leader out there. I didn't have anyone that wanted to influence the game. I didn't have anyone that wanted to be stood up and be counted. So that's disappointing for me and Andy. So anyway, we go on, we move on to Tuesday night. And, um, Bugbrook, St. Michael's. Yeah, and I don't know how they got on today, but they hadn't lost before today. So uh, they're going to be flying. And uh, like I say, we're going to have to be better than that as we're going to get a good item. Is uh, Quincy all right? The keeper took uh, sort of an interesting injury in the first, early in the first half. And uh, the physio uh, checked him over and he seemed to be all right for the rest of the oh, game. He was his shoulder again. It keeps, it keeps doing that. I don't worry about it because he'll go down, it'll pop out, they'll put it back in, he'll carry on. Yeah. So I ain't worried about it, you know. Um, and the venerable one himself, Chris Hope, took a hard knock. I guess the wind knocked out of him early in the second half. Is yeah, uh, Chris yeah. is Hope he all right? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He carried on. You know what Chris is like. He'll, he'll carry on and, you know, nothing faces him really. But there you go. All right. Well, thanks, Storms. We'll see you Tuesday evening. You will do. Cheers. Cheers. For AFC RD TV, our man of the match today is number 10, Devin Elwood. Uh, Devin, a uh, tough game today for Diamonds, wasn't it? Yeah, very tough uh well, what do you say? Uh, we didn't make it easy. N not taking it away from them. They worked hard, and we just wasn't up to it today, I'd say. It just seemed like the team was a, a bit flat today. Is there any way to explain that? Hard to hard to, hard to say about that. Uh, second half, obviously, better than first half. But first half, yeah, we was flat. We didn't look like we wanted it, to be honest. And to be fair, like you say, they worked really hard and fully deserved a point. Uh, Diamond scored a goal at the perfect time just before halftime to give you a bit of momentum. You're leading 1-0 at the break at the interval. Uh, what was Storms like at halftime? 
Well, yeah, he was, still wasn't happy. He was still not good enough for a performance first half. Yeah, you know, the goal come from us playing well, our first bit of football in the game, and look, that's what come out of it, a goal. So, other than that, nothing really to say. He was not happy, is what I say. Well, uh, my apologies. I thought Chris Hope had scored a goal there uh, midway through the second half, but it was ruled off sides. Is that the, the deal there on that shot? Apparently so. I wasn't in line with the linesman, so I can't comment on that. But, yeah, it seems disappointing when it is, goes in and it is ruled off, but that's part of football, isn't it? Speaking of Chris Hope, uh, he's a veteran of the uh, football wars. What's it like having a, a fellow like that as your teammate? Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Great experience. And, uh, yeah, he's always helping you through the matches and talking to you, uh, showing you the wrongs and the rights. So, yeah, it's really nice to be playing with him. And briefly, uh, tell us about your football experiences, uh, you, where you've played before AFC Diamonds. Uh, I've played a few clubs. <laughs> I've been I've been Frapson, played in, at Rawns, had a little spell at Stamford, uh, Whitworths. Uh, I think that's about it. Yeah, to but, uh, really quite a nice setup here with AFC Diamonds. It's really been brilliant so far this season, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah, great with the fans and people behind the scenes. Everyone loves the club and everyone works hard to keep the club going. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's really nice to be playing for. Well, thanks for your time, Devin, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next match. Cheers.